It's me in the flesh, folks. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and joining me for another Mars Anomalies episode. I'm joined by the lovely Miss Michelle. Obviously, for security reasons, I can't show you what she looks like. But she's also a Martian, which is a good thing. I hope my hair's looking all right. I've got a bit of a suntan. But without any further ado, let's get cracking on. Let's have a look at the source material and the anomaly and then the illustration. <sighs> I featured this one a couple of months ago. Dune Symmetry is what the high-rise team calls this one. Acquired on the 28th of December 2009 at 25.5 centimeters per pixel. The images I show you are cropped from a JP2 black and white map projected file. Here's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies of some of these white specks littered across this region. So the site is located right there to the south of Pi, about 60 kilometers south. So to start off with, there's the first anomaly folks, the strange circular arc type design with what looked like two blocks to the left and one to the right and a close-up you can see the perfect arc that this forms totally out of place nothing else like it in the photograph and then there's lots of these right angled blocks or slabs littering this area check out the strange a rectangular piece is sticking off the one side and it's slightly elevated pointing up looks like some type of venting system to me and then the strange part which I reckon may have been like a dish on its side but after looking at this Miss Michelle and I decided no you know what this actually is more flat and it's closer to the surface but it's got like eight sides to it highly eroded and damaged so whatever wrecked the planet in the past got to this part as well and then there's a strange conical piece in the center with what looks like a disc on the top and this part this l-shaped piece i thought was only a couple of meters tall but it's actually very tall folks check it the long shadow it's casting over there and then a nest with two dinosaur eggs no i'm just joking but that <laughs> looks totally totally out of place as well folks i'm sure you'll agree with me check that out and this piece is about seven meters long so there it is folks my estimation of what we are looking at i put this together for us in adobe dimension so there's the first anomaly right there. Check out the similarity, folks. And then this strange l shaped piece. I try to emulate its height based on that shadow length and the other anomalies around it. Also, I put these together in a group for convenience. <laughs> and there's the strange arc shaped piece with that block or monolith over there to the bottom and then the three blocks very similar in design and this one's got that strange piece pointing slightly up and that's the representation the best I can do folks from the side obviously we don't have side views only the top-down orbital photographs but this is what I think we're looking at if you look at the shadows on the original photographs the spot over here is very very tall I reckon that's about two and a half meters high that part there about seven meters long and the arced piece over there this is about eight meters folks check that out Get the strange similarity with eight sides to this piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just making sure. And then that conical part with the small disc on the top. Could this have been some type of machine? Is it wreckage? Could it be a sacrificial type 
sculpture, who knows, folks? Also, this part in the center is slightly recessed. Could this have been there to gather liquid of whatever was manufactured, maybe slaughtered on the top of this table? Who knows, guys? Pure speculation. Check out the arc to this design and then the slab of here, folks. Slightly higher than this rounded part. I don't know what is happening here, guys, but it looks like these blocks tilted over to the left. And Miss Michelle's all around here trying to distract me, which is cool. At last, I'm doing videos with a bit of sense of humor. <laughs> One of my channel subs once said that I remind them of that teacher in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Anyone? 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 But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys and girls think of these anomalies. Do you think I'm close to what it could be? Or are these just natural rocks and some crazy geology <laughs> that produced these shapes? Right, down to the southern mid-latitudes to a region just south of Pi. We've got Pi up there to the north. And about 80 kilometers or so to the south, we have multiple photographs taken there, folks. This is where I found the anomalies as well. There's a brief look at those once again. And there are the two that are featured again in this video. I've got to say, uh, even during my extended break, I was on Mars every day and I couldn't find anything new. You can ask her as well. Mm -hmm. I've been spending far too much time on Mars anyway. So, But do look out for new videos. I'll release those as and when I find new anomalies. Take care everybody. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully pretty soon.